All right, Brian, welcome to Reading Rocket Freshman Football Week 5. 4-0 <laughs> Rockets right here, Brian. We're in a precarious position up here, aren't we? Yeah, this is dangerous. We're, heading, we're, we're over on the uh, the practice field over here at Woburn. Last-minute game. We're about four feet higher than Joe Gilligan right now. Uh, precarious. He's, if we fall down, we fall right on top of Joe. But, uh, hey, our captains today, number 33, Jaheim Nortel is number 17, Mikey Lloyd, number 44, Lucas Fleming. And, I'm, oh, <laughs> I think he's actually out there with his uh, – Ty Lindmark is out there with his in his sling. So listen, what, what a great day for uh, for sports today! It's it's the it's the uh, quintuple, right? Yeah, yeah. The Red Sox on at four, the Bruins on at seven, the Patriots on at eight thirty, and we started off today with Reading freshman football at three thirty. Nice. So we will be back. You know, listen, are you high enough here, Brian? Yeah, I'm definitely high enough. Okay, good, good to know. I didn't know if we could get what the angle was here. Right, but, uh, we're good. Yeah, you definitely are. All right, hey, we'll be back in just a sec for kickoff. All right, here we go, ready to kick off. Foxy's here to set the kick off here. We're, go we're going to do our best from this angle uh, here, Brian, but it's actually a cool spot here. Nice kick down low. Foxy, it's a live ball. Oh, it's still the hell there, right there. Number 84 is in there, Jonathan Grady. So good job for number two just to hold on to that one. But that ends up being a good kick for uh, for the Rockets here. Listen, uh, we have no idea what the uh, what the yardage numbers are in this uh, place, too. So we're going to have to do a little homework and find out where we are uh, in relation to the field. But I'm guessing uh, they're starting right around the, let's say, 25-yard line. All right, here we go. First and 10 from about the 24 for Woburn. Woburn's got uh, about 28 kids in this roster. So that's a big one. And in motion, inside handoff. It's outside right there. He gets around one guy. Oh, he's right around all the way. He gets pulled down by, he's out of bounds right there. And they call it right in front of us. So number seven was um, Ben Ferrante. I got to get used to some of the, some of the players have different uh, numbers than uh, ins inside or outside. But I think that's going to be a first down here for Woburn. And from the 38-yard line, making a guess right here. Same thing in motion. This time it's right up the gut, and he gets met immediately by Dom DiCrescenzo. Fools no one with that one, so nice job for Domi right up the middle. And we get Dom's mother here yelling with the cowbell. More <laughs> cowbell right next to us. It's going to be awesome. I want to hear that every single time I call DiCrescenzo's name. They'll be ringing in my ears by the end of this game if that's the way things go. All right, so call it no gain right there. Nice play by DiCrescenzo up the middle. We got O'Connor, DiCrescenzo, Larry Lorenzo, and, and uh, Jay Kajander on that front line. Corners of DiNapoli and Ferrante. Linebackers, Damari, Lynch, Deemer, and Conroy. Now it's in motion the other way. This one's a handoff right up the gut. He gets met almost immediately. Nice job right there by Kajander, and then gets some help from Deemer. So. Very short gain, it's gonna be third and eight upcoming. Big play right here for the Rockets, third and eight. They'd love to get a stop here, make the ball back early. This one's up and down, he goes up there, gets met immediately by Damari. Beautiful play by Damari from the outside linebacker spot and close it. That's the Dan Damari we're used to seeing, but this is a relatively new position for Damari, outside linebacker. He pushes that one back, and they're going to kick it. So, Brian, it is absolutely beautiful out here, especially when the sun's not on you. Yeah. About 78, warm, nice breeze here, and it is a great day for football Thursday afternoon. So they, I think they're going to kick this one here. We have Danapoli back deep. Great first series by the uh, defense for Redding. There we go. It's a kick there. It's a short one. Let's see if uh, let's keep away. Let's stay away from it. Nice job by uh, Adam to stay away from that one. It's going to be excellent field position for the Rockets to take over. I'm guessing from here that it's about the Rocket 42-yard line will take over from. So, Rockets get their first chance on uh, offense upcoming. Series here for the Rockets. We get Damari flanked by Thornton. Split left is Tice. In the shotgun is a handoff right up the gut to Thornton. He cuts up, he spins off, he's still on his feet. As usual, Trevor Thornton takes it for a minimum of five yards. Let's call it seven. I'm going to call it second and short upcoming. Rockets break. We got Thornton flanking. Damari again, Nortellis near side. Got a little bit of movement right up the gut is, is Thornton. He's still on his feet, but he rumbles it for a first down. Two carries, first down. We've been saying that all year. Trevor Thornton's been a fine first year uh, playing football. He's a tough, tough player. 
and the Rockets are in Woburn territory here. First and 10, I'm going to say call it from the 42-yard line. Same setup here. Damari, Damari keeps it himself this time. He gets around, but this closed on very quickly. Oh, a couple of straight arms for Damari and number four here. He pushes it only for a couple yards here, but nonetheless uh, gets some po positive yardage there. But a little breakdown on the left side there. I'd like to see a little bit better blocking for Danny. Call it second and seven, maybe just over eight here. Three guys split right, new formation here for the Rockets. Interesting. Let's see what they do here. This one's going to be a swing pass out. Oh, the ball's dropped, and that's, I think, they, they, they may be calling that one a lateral. And if they do, they're going to call it a fumble, and they take the ball. I think they're going to, let's see what they call it. And they call it a lateral that was dropped, and Woburn's going to take over here. That was a very, very difficult play right there. I think it was a forward pass, and they may be talking about it. Oh, they gave it to him. That's so the no swing way. pass goes out. It's dropped, I think, out there. Conroy and uh, they pick it up and Woburn takes over so tough turnover after a couple first downs here coaches to use this one just because the angle are at over at this field but nonetheless Woburn takes over first and 10 after the turnover little motion right up the gut there's Oki right there nice Oki gets his hands on him gets some help from DiCrescenzo here comes the cowbell like it so nice job by Oki to stay on his guy and Domi helps him out and cleans him up so very short gain there. Call it second and nine here for Woburn. A little different formation for Woburn here. This one's going to be a keeper behind two guys, and he gets met. Oh, this D. Crescenzo again in there. Oki on the bottom, and Jake Jander in there too. So nice job by the defensive line right there for another, call it a very short gain. We'll call it third and just over seven, maybe eight big play. Third and eight here for Woburn. This one he goes back. It's going to be a pass. He swings out. He's got a guy open, and he's wide open, and he beats him out there. Huge play right there. Number two gets behind Lynch, and Nick Perez is the last guy, last line of defense, so beautifully set up play, pass and catch. He's wide open, throws a dart to him, and Nick Perez saves a touchdown right there. So huge play on third and eight, and Woburn converts. Here we got Damari as free safety now. He's changed his position here. First and 10. It's a handoff left. Looks like a hold right there on Kajander, and they call it. I saw it, you saw it. So Jay got held, and they're going to move this thing back 10. Eagle eyes out here, yeah. uh, Brian, right? So, so I saw Kajander get held right in front of the guy and luckily he called it. So they're going to move this thing back 10. It'll be first and 20. Can't really tell what yardage marker we're on here. I'm guessing around the 25-yard line. Thirty-yard line. All right, first and twenty here from about the thirty-yard line of, of Redding. Defense on a great job. They pulled up a huge pass play. The penalty brings it back. It's a keeper. You got to try that pass play again. Nice coverage right there, but he's got an option. Lynchy comes in on him, pushes him. Up. He's still on his feet, but. Pretty big gain right there. He's not going to get all 20 back, but that was sort of a pass run option. Excellent coverage by Ferrante when you saw that thing set up. He was on their big receiver, so forced the uh, quarterback to run. He turned it into, into a big play. So it's going to be second and call it six upcoming. Coach Murphy imploring the D-line to get a push here. Second and six. We got motion right here. It's a handoff right up the middle. He's got a big hole right there. Number three gets pulled down by Deemer, helped out by Conroy. So he's got a big hole very close to the first down. Let's see if they actually give it to him. It's going to be third and very short. They do give him the first down, so it's going to be first and goal as they drop the chains. First and goal here for Woburn. Rocket's going to need something big to happen in their favor here.
Ubin breaks the huddle. One guy in motion. Stays right up here. It's gonna be a pass play again. Oki got him by the shirt. He's got him. Stay with him, Oki. Oh, he's still on his feet. He throws it away. Man, good pressure by Oki. Had him by the shirt and couldn't pull him down. He's got to make that play there. Good stop. It would have been a loss of about seven. So good pressure by Oki. Didn't have enough to take him down there. Spun him around. Athletic play to stay up. He throws it away. It's going to be second and goal. Would have loved to have seen that thing come back. Coach Murphy's giving it to him rightfully. <laughs> Second and goal here for Woburn. This one's a keeper right now. He goes left. It's a stunt. He's got room in front of him here, and he's going to go in. So they push everything right, and they go left, and he goes in untouched. So after the huge third down conversion, Woburn gets down close. We pushed him back with a penalty, and they march forward. So Woburn gets on the board early here, 6-0 in the first quarter. And we'll see if they can pull off the extra. All right, here's the two-point try here for Woburn. These extra points are huge at this level. This one's right up the gut, and he gets met. I don't think he gets there. He gets pulled back by Domi's in there. 52, Oki's in there too, and Larry. So they do stop them. Great stop right there. That's Those things always come back to help you. So that's a big play right there to keep two points off the board. And the Rockets are going to come back after the kick shortly. All right, Woburn set to kick off here for the first time. We have Conroy and Thornton back deep. Tice and Damari next two up. It's a low kick right here. It's going to go to Tice. Got to get his hands a tough bounce right there. Evans got to pick that thing up. He does, and he gets stacked up. Oh, nice, nice move to stay at his feet. Gets a couple of yards back here, but it took a terrible bounce. Unfortunately, he's keyed up on it. It went literally right around him. So fortunate bounce for Woburn. Gets him an extra 15 yards here. And the Rockets are going to take over right around their own 20. Good. All right, here we go. We got we got the two big backs, Thornton and Fleming, flanking. Uh, Luke, it looks like Fleming takes this one here. He goes up the middle, actually, that's Thornton. I'll do that again all day, especially from this angle. It's hard to see these guys here, but Thornton and Fleming, 34 and 44, flanking Demario. There's a couple of big dudes right there, and those guys were very successful last week. Whether they taking the ball themselves or being lead blockers for number 11. Demari flanked by both Thornton Fleming. This one goes to Thornton again, upside. He cuts up. He's still on his feet. Nice job by Trev. He's still on his feet. He dives that thing for a first. Huge gain for Thornton. He takes it right out to the 40-yard line. So he is tearing up real estate early until they show they can stop it, keep it going. Right, right, Brian? Yep. And they are out of the huddle quickly here. Damari coming in now. Looks like we might have a timeout called here. Oh, that could that could very well be the quarter, uh, Brian. So I yeah. think that maybe the end of the quarter we'll be switching around, and be a little bit closer right in front of us, starting up. All right, doing double duty here, Brian. Here's a short <laughs> handoff right here. It's right up the gut to Thornton. He goes outside. What a run! Looks for the outside seam, and Trevor takes it for about 12 for another first down. I'm doing a little work here, Brian. At the same time, trying to get some uh, some business closed in between. So there you go. Hopefully, I didn't give away any trade secrets on ICTV right now. No, I had a pause, so we're good. Oh, perfect, good. We don't want to see. We got Lucas off. Fleming down here. He's uh, super fan extraordinaire. Totally awesome. We're gonna get number 44, the ball in here, and have him run over some people shortly. All right, here we go. Damari flanked by the big backs. Just like I said, right? Give it a 44. Oh, enjoy that one, number 20. But, hey, listen, do I see into the future right now? I say, give it a 44. He's going to run someone over. What does he do? Give it to him and runs someone over. We are awesome, Brian. We have we, we see into the future, don't we? Oh, yeah. That was awesome. Huge play, about seven yards. And, man, number 20 is feeling it for uh, Woburn. Yikes. Second at about just over three here. Same thing, why not, right? Look at the hole he's got. And he's still at his feet. There's a flag, though. Ah, oh, way behind the play. 
Huge run here for 30 yards, and I think they might be bringing it back. It might be encroachment, though. It's encroachment Woburn, and they're going to let it sand. So nice. huge run for Fleming. Huge. Two in a row. He rips off about 40. And I'll tell you, he, I bet you he was more satisfied with the first eight-yard run than the last 30-yard run. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Right? He gets to run someone over on that. He goes, I'll take eight yards and then blow someone up instead of 40. That's just the way he is. But nonetheless, huge run back-to-back -back Fleming. And it's first down for the Rockets. This one's right up the gut here. This one looks like Thornton does a spin rama gets about three or four yards before nine guys have to get on to take him down. And he takes it for about five. So nice movement here. He takes it, call it six. We're going to call it second and just under five here. Right around the 10-yard line. That Brian, right? Get him right out there. Don't let this uh, this uh, defense rest. Two big backs flanking Damari. How about Damari behind him? Yep. Cuts back up. He's still on his feet, but he gets met. So Danny tries to pull behind the two guys, the two big guys. Maybe better if he was a little bit more patient, just follow one of uh, Fleming up there. But nonetheless, he still takes it very close to the first down. Call it third and about a foot and a half here. So Rocket's in a good position, clear four down territory. Damari coming in with a play. Fleming and Thornton, the two bulls beside him. Those guys have been tough to deal with all year. Same setup here, who's gonna take it? This one's a handoff right up the gut to Thor, uh, Fleming, and he cuts in, and I think he's in. And he is in. Lucas Fleming goes in, so listen, pick your poison for us, right? Is it gonna be Thornton or is it gonna be Fleming? And both of those guys are seriously tough backs to bring down. This was the Lucas Fleming show for this one. He had three carries for about 50 yards and bulls it in from about eight or nine right now. I don't know why we have to change anything up for the extra point because this is a huge one. Rockets tie it up 6-6. Six, 8-6 six. Six is a big difference here. They spread out a bunch of players here. Let's see what Damari's going to do. Damari's going to go back to pass. He swings that underneath, and it's a low pass. It was uh, intended for Nortelis, and it does not convert. So they had a play set up, and a uh, <laughs> little bit into the second quarter here, it's going to be Redding 6, Woburn 6. Oxy's set to kick off here. Sun coming out right now, Brian, and it's burning us, isn't it? Oh, yes. I, we, I, was just, I was happy a second ago when the clouds were like dropped. a piece of bacon. <laughs> Here's Foxy with the kick. It's a good one over that center there. Goes to number four, picks it up, cuts right and left, and he's got some room. He's got If he gets outside, he's got a lot of daylight. Last guy there is Fleming, and Fleming rips him down after a big gain back, so he gets it over midfield. He found a seam, and he's a good athlete, number four. That's a quarterback. They get him back fielding, uh, fielding a kickoff, too, and he runs that thing back into Rocket territory. So excellent field position for Woburn to start here. We're going to be asking a lot out of the Rocket D. Yeah, first and ten from... Looks like just over uh, Rocket territory. Rocket 49, we'll call it. Oh, we got movement on the right uh, side here. It's going to move it back five yards. A false start left side. Let's see who we got. We have Nick Perez is back deep. Our cornerbacks are Ferrante and DiNapoli. In the middle, we have Conroy. We have Deemer. We have Lynch, and we have... Damari. Front line still the same. Kajanda, Larry, Lorenza. Uh, Big Dom Di Crescenzo at number 55 is Danny O'Connor. First and 15. Back on the Woburn side of the field. Guy in motion. We've seen the play like this. Looks very similar. He's got an inside handoff here and he gets met immediately by Conroy and a bunch of other folks. So, caught a short game, maybe three or four. Fools nobody. Trevor Conroy right in there and then get some help. That's what I, I like to see the gang tackling there, Brian, right? Yeah. These guys are tough, you know. We said one guy one guy who's an athlete, they can bust out of these uh, things. So, once you get a hands on you gotta get some gang tackling going there. And that was good to see there. So, call it second and 12 upcoming. It's gonna be a pitch this way. Number five's got room outside. It's around Kajander, he's gonna cut back up. Gets pulled down by after a big gain of about 15 by Perez. 
So he had a nice seam right in front of us. Number five takes about a 15-yard gain. Puts it on about the Rocket 30-yard line here. All right, here we go. First and 10 here for Woburn after the big gain. He's back here. He's going to keep it right up the middle. Got a little room. Domi gets past him. And he's got big room on the outside. Gets picked up. A nice tackle right there. I think that's by seven. That's Ferrante. So beautiful play, but he gets very close to the first down. But an eight yard gain, I think we're calling timeout here. Timeout for the Rockets, we'll come back in a sec. Okay, here we are, it's called second and about a foot here from about the 25 yard line. I formation. It's back to pass here, he swings out. There's Kajander, he throws out underneath, he's got a good spot here. He gets a first down and more and then Deemer comes in to take him down. So he gets the first down. Deemer pulls him out, but it's going to be first. Let's probably about a gain of six here. That's going to be first and ten from about the 15-yard line here for uh, Woburn. The defense is early here, Brian. Yep. You don't make any subs. The kids are getting tired. It's hot. They're all gassed, hands on their hips. Here we go. All right, first and 10 here for Woburn. Man in motion. This one's hand off right up the gut. He cuts through. He gets picked up by Conroy's a first contact. And let's see who else is in there. I think that was 65 was Lynchy. So short gain there, maybe a gain of three. Call it four. It's going to be second and six upcoming. I think we heard 55 seconds here in the half. And they have two timeouts, the uh, referee telling them here. Motion right here, oh boy, it's a keeper here, it's a broken play. Here comes Conroy, he gets past him and he gets pushed out of bounds right around the 10 yard line by Perez. The clock's gonna stop because he gets out of bounds, but we're getting very close here to the end of the half. Let's see if we get a time check here. Rockets would love to get out of this one without any five. I think both sides have two timeouts here, but this is a tough task here. Third and short, what's clear, four down territory, just outside the 10. That one looked like a broken play there. High snap, it's a keeper right up the middle, and oh, De Crescenzo's in there, Connor's in there, everybody's in there, Conroy's in there. They all get in there, so might be close. I don't think they got the first down. It's gonna be fourth down, very short here. It's going to be a huge play if the Rockets could get a pushback here, but call it fourth and about a yard, but only about six yards for the touchdown. So we'll be back in a second. That's a two-minute warning right there. All right, huge play right here. Let's call it fourth and a yard and a half. High snap, he swings out right. Trying to push him here. Gets outside and he's got the first down and more. And he drives in, oh, gets absolutely crushed at the end. It looks like by, let's see who hits him at the end was Ferrante, but he gets in. Wow. He got around the outside, goes in for the touchdowns. But he pays a price when Ferrante comes in and crushes him. Nonetheless, he gets six here late in the second half, or it's late in the second quarter here, right before the half. And it's going to be, uh, they're going to take a timeout right here and think about this extra point. Timeout, Woburn. I ain't taking over for Larry. All right, here we go. Big play right here. Woburn up 12 to 6. About a minute and a half left in the half. It's a swing out right. Throws it up over, and it's, oh boy, he comes down with it. Wow, beautiful play. Lynchy had tight coverage from here. He jumps up and goes and gets it. I thought it was going to be up and over his head, and he pulls it down. So nicely executed play. Good pursuit by Oak. He took a better angle there to swing him out. He throws it up, and number five pulls it down. So just before the half here, it is Woburn 14, Redding 6. Second kickoff here for Woburn up 14 to 6 before the half. See if we can get a time check here. Rockets need a big return here to see get something going. Bounces up right here to Tice. He picks it up, cuts right, and he gets up. He cuts back, 
Still on his feet, but gets pulled down from behind right around the 35-yard line. Drives it to about the 40. North-south. Let's see if we can get a uh, time check here. All right, here we are, first and 10 here for the Rockets. Damari flanked by Thornton. Goes right up to gut to Trevor, and he cuts out. Nice run, he's still on his feet. Still on his feet. See if he can get out of bounds. That's the play. That's the play, you gotta get out of bounds. That's the one thing about Trevor. Huge run right there, he's gotta remember that he's up against the clock here, so get yourself out of bounds and stop that thing. Nice run right there for about 20 yards by Thornton. Let's, ho let's tell somebody he doesn't have to fight and keep it inbounds with there's just a few clicks on the, to on the, on the clock here. So nice looking play right there. Same setup right here. Thornton flanking Damari. This one he goes back to pass. He throws it over the middle. Thornton says he's got one guy to beat. Huge hole. Let me, if he cuts outside, he gets wrapped up after about 25, 30 yards. Beautiful play. That screen over the middle. It worked beautifully last week. It works even better this week. Nice job, they let those guys get right in, dumps it over the heads, and Thornton takes that for a big gainer. Here we go here, it's first and 10 here from about the 20 yard line, maybe 25. This one's right up the gut here. I think that's Thornton again, he's still on his feet. Keeps pushing, drives it for about six or seven. Rockets may call timeout here. They call a timeout. So the Rockets get the timeout here. We'll see if we can get uh, we'll see if we can find out what's on the clock here for time. Looks like it's just under a minute here. Second and short. Rockets have been moving offensively at will. This one's right up to gut to Thornton. Look at that hole. He's still on his feet. Oh, he drives it down very close inside the five here. See if the Rockets call another timeout here. They had two of them, and they do. So inside the five, it's going to be first and goal. And uh, I tell you, the Rockets have moved at will. The only thing that stalled them was a fumble. Ended up being a lateral. And Woburn has done the same. Uh, that first, The first defensive series, the Rockets looked great. They stopped them. And Woburn has proved too tough uh, offensively for the Rockets, too. So we've been trading punches here. <coughs> and only the turnover, the one that really was the killer for Redding here. But nonetheless, they are... Knocking on the doorstep, first and goal here, under a minute. I'd just give it to one of the bulls up the middle, wouldn't you? Right up the middle, do it twice, and go in all tied up with the with you, us getting the ball back. Sounds good to me, Brian, right? Yeah, sounds good to all me, All right, man. perfect. All right, you know, we, we, you know we've seen to the future, so we've made these calls before. And here we are, we have the two big backs, 34 and 44, flanking Damari. Which one are you going to go to? Right up to Thornton, he's got a huge hole and he's in, he's gotta be in. Beautiful, beautiful play right there. Right up the gut all day long for Trevor Thornton. So the two big backs grab the two touchdowns. First one Fleming, this one the Thornton show. And now down two, the Rockets gotta come up with a big one. Same thing, Bry, right? Right me? up the gut, let's do it. Anything else, the coach let's should be fired. <laughs> <for Christ's sake. laughs> tell, tell me that's not on tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Right up here, it goes right up to Fleming this time, and Fleming bowls in. Beautiful play. Thornton left, Fleming right, and right before the half, the Rockets get back in to tie this thing, so. Should be 16-14. Yeah, it could be, could should be. be. Should could, be. Could be, but here we go right now. It's, uh, it's the Rockets tie this thing up. We're going to be very, very close to the half here. The one thing you don't want to do is make a mistake on this kickoff. We'll see what happens. Set to kick off here. Right up the gut. That looks like it's off his foot. Might be a live play there. That is a live ball. 
Come on, guys. There we go. Nice job right there. And that's 65. Lynch, he comes in. So good job on the tackle. Let's see. We probably only have a two, few ticks left in the clock. we got to look out for that pass. Had a big pass play early that went for big yardage. Look for the same thing here late in the first uh, first half. BVH doing a little editorializing on here, right? Yeah. Undoubtedly get it down <laughs> to Luke and edit this thing right out of RCTV or we'll be fired from our jobs here. <laughs> Can't get fired. Nobody hired us. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Unfortunately, we'll be losing that massive paycheck yeah. of $0.00. Yeah. .00. Here we go. Watch this play here. Kept right up the middle. Right there is DiCrescenzo. Rips him down in the backfield. Nice job for Dom. Hey, it's today's society, man. You get First Amendment rights, right? <laughs> <laughs> Great job by DiCrescenzo. Pushed him back about six yards. We know it was him because his mom rang the cowbell. It's not like I'm going to kneel during the National Anthem I'm going to get a cowbell for my son Dan, now. but it has to be at a different timber, a different pitch, just so we know the difference. All right, they call timeout Woburn. They're going to look for a uh, something in the bag of tricks here with about 80 yards to go here. Last thing Rockets want to do is get something behind them. They also want to keep these guys in bounds. And then call it 17 here, about the 20-yard line. It's a high snap. He pulls it down. He throws underneath. He's open, number two, but he gets right in there. Denapoli closes and knocks it down. Nice play. And that looks like it might be the half here. I'm not sure. Incomplete pass. Nice job. He looked like he was open. Denapoli closed on him, and he knocked it down. So beautiful play by uh, Adam right there, number 21. Might see them take a knee here. He's telling him he's going to take a knee so they don't hit anybody here, and he does. So listen to the refs actually say, hey, they're going to take a knee, uh, and that goes right to the half. So at half, hey, it's, it's a close one, Brian. Very, very close game here. Woburn's offense looks good. Redding's offense looks awesome. Cut one miscue for Redding, and uh, that could be the difference. It might be the guy who holds the ball last who wins this game, but Redding's going to get the ball back in the second half, and we'll be back shortly. All right, Rocket's going to get the ball back here in the second half. We have Thornton and the two Trevors, twin Trevors, Conroy, back deep. Damari and Tice, next level up. Last two have gone to Tice. This one, let it go out of bounds, and it goes out of bounds. Oh, it's a big play right there. Oh, no. I'm going to call a penalty here. Oh, boy. So five-yard penalty on the side here. Say it was after the play. I thought it was fine. It's the, it's the flag for kicking the ball out of bounds. Oh, I got you. I got you. They can either take it there or they can take it over here. Oh, I'm with you. The ball goes out of bounds, so the Rockets are going to start with excellent field position here. Get about the 45 here. Two big backs flanking Damari. This one's right up the gut here to Thornton again. Still on his feet. Takes a couple guys to take him down. He still gets five. So... Thornton, always positive yardage here. Listen, Brian, I have Danielle Beckin, who's yelling at me uh, to get the score at halftime. She's yelling, Dan, Dan. Uh, unfortunately, she's either calling my son's name or her husband's name. <laughs> so uh, I'm actually Tim. I had to tell her that. She's, she's looking at me like, why aren't you answering me? That's not my name. Good to know, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I just called. I said, thanks, Shauna. Called her Sean Beckin. Here we go. All right, here we go. Right here. It's going to be a keeper right here for... Uh, Damari, and he pulls it very, very close to the first down. I think he might have it. We got our first sub of the day. First down in there. All right, here we go. First down for the Rockets. We got Mike DiPietro and Jonathan Grady. Two speedsters out in the right, right up the gut. That's going to be Fleming this time, and he dives forward for about six. So I think what you're going to see is they're going to have to start closing that box. They can't stop this run. And when they do it, you might see some guys wide open here. Maybe that's why you see number two and number 84 in there. A couple of speedsters out in the right-hand side. Wubert Thornton or Fleming. Might be poised for a big play coming up here as they throw nine in the box. Right up the gut to Thornton this time. Still on his feet. It's picked up after a gain of about four. It's going to be third and short upcoming. I might have a timeout here.
Third and short here. I might call this four down territory here. Two big backs flanking Damari. This one goes back to Damari right up the gut. This side to Thornton and he dives forward. Very, very close to the first down. Might be a foot short. So it could be four. It depends on the spot. He's right before it. So it's going to be fourth. About a yard here. Although I'm looking at the sticks. It looks like it's more like a foot than a yard on the field. Big play right here for Redding. They need one tough yard. You got three guys you can pick from here. This one's right up the gut to uh, Fleming, and he takes it for the first down and more. Nice job by Lucas Fleming. Had a monster game here today. So Fleming takes it for the first, and the Rockets continue to drive here in the second half. Here, similar setup. 44-11-34. This one's gonna be right up the gut to Fleming. Oh boy, he just mows over people. He's still on his feet. Go down, don't stay up too long, all right? If you get stacked up, just wanna hold on to that ball. And I'll tell you, that's one thing I can mention after about five games here, Trevor uh, actually held that ball out that first, the first game I think he had one fumble and we haven't seen one since. So he's done a great job learning how to protect that ball. He drives that one for about eight on first down, and I think it's timeout Woburn. Go, first down here. Actually, second and short. It's a big game. This one, oh, it's going to be a swing out pass. It's to DePietro. He's got some forward motion. Oh, the ball's on the ground. And it gets picked up by Woburn. DePietro had some room ahead of him. He gets hit and fumbles the ball, and Woburn takes it back. So a huge turnover for the Rockets as they're moving down the field. And that one hurts. Like to see Mike DiPietro with some room in front of him because he's got he's got some speed to burn. He had a little bit of it, gets hit, the ball comes loose. And fortunately for Wubin, st actually stays in bounds and they jump on it. So Wubin's gonna take over here, first and 10 from probably just about their 20, 25 yard line. 10 here for Wubin after the turnover. High step, he's got a big hole there. Gets wrapped up immediately right there by Deemer. I say immediately, probably in the backfield by after a gain of about five. So the two pass plays have really uh, actually hurt the Rockets here. First one for a fumble uh, on a lateral, uh, what, what looked like an incomplete pass, and the next one on a fumble after the completion or turnovers, and can't do that against a good team like this. So going to be asking a lot of the Rocket D right here. Let's see if we can get a stop out of them. We stopped them in the very first series and haven't done it since. I formation in motion. It's going to be a keeper here right. He's going to look to pass. Good coverage right there for Ferrante. Throws it away. So nice job by Ben to stay on 21. That was a pass that was a big gainer in the first uh, quarter for our Wolverine. But that one goes for naught. So it's going to be third and about just over five upcoming. Huge, huge third down right here, Brian. Third and about six. Rockets need to get a stop here if they want to get the ball back. He swings it out here. He's got a little bit of room. He's looking to pass. He throws it up. Right there, is, uh, he's got all sorts of room. And it goes incomplete. So nice stop. Nice coverage over here by DiNapoli and Perez. You know what? I'm going to give these back some credit. Number seven, Ben Ferrante hasn't played football before, Brian. And he's had two plays where he had immense coverage. So this one has to be kicked away. I can't imagine them going for it uh, deep in their own territory. So that's exactly what the doctor ordered for the, uh, for the uh, Rocket D couple of passes and both of them defended well. Punt here on fourth down. Last one didn't go far at all. It's a boot, a little bit better kick this time. Adams right there, he fields it, makes a nice cutback and he gets just a couple yards but a nice tackle by number 15. But the Rockets are gonna start out here right about the Woburn 45 yard line. So excellent field position here. Let's see if they can do something. Get the ball back here in the third quarter. First down here. Similar formation. The big backs flanking Damari. This one right up the gut to, I think that's Fleming. Fleming drives it for about five. He's telling to get the ball. Nice job with the two hands on Lu uh, Fleming. He takes it for at least five.
Not the best spot there for, for Fleming. Looked like he got a lot more than that. Nonetheless, similar setup. This one's right here. Fleming, he's got room on the outside. Look at the hole he's got. Oh, that's Thornton. Oh, he looks like we got a pet flag here, and it might be coming back. Could be a hold on the Rockets. Let's see. 89 on the hold. Looks, looks like. They yeah. called it on. Like Rockets moved back 10 yards on the hold after a big gain from Thornton. So call it second and 11 here. This one's right up the gut to Thornton again. What a block on the right-hand side. He's got a huge hole. Sean Beckenhuis on the right-hand side and Dom DiCrescenzo absolutely sealed off the outside. And Thornton rips it off for a first down. Just closed the wall there on the left, Brian. Beautiful uh, angle from here to see that. Is that Shauna's kid? That's Shauna's kid, yeah. Shauna Beckenhuis. <laughs> yeah. Shauna Beckenhuis' kid with a nice uh, play on the right side. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, first down here. Right there, right up the gut. There's, uh, this one's Fleming, got to bring that ball in. Stays on his feet, rips it off for about seven. I think that was a stunt too because those guys came from the other side, right? So they stunt over those guys. They collapse Oki and Lynchy on the right. These guys come over, there's nowhere to go. When, when Domi gets behind Oki and, and Lynchy on the right-hand side, he had a huge lane to run through. He rips that off for about eight. And they are chewing up yardage with the running game here all day long, and yet still we're tied. Right up the gut to Fleming. Look at the hole. He cuts outside. Oh, puts his shoulder down, stays in his feet. He's still in his feet. Oh, boy, is he in? They can't bring him down, and the, they bring him down. It looks like the one-yard line here. I'm looking for a touchdown there. Fleming absolutely has a huge line there. Instead of going outside, he throws his shoulder into someone, knocks him down, and keeps running. So absolutely titanic run by Fleming. All right, here we go. Next, uh, it's going to be first and goal from about the one-foot line. Empty backfield. It's a keeper for Damari, and he's still on his feet, but he gets stacked up. So he doesn't get in. He's very close. Let's call it second and goal. I think they're giving uh, giving Fleming a breather over there from the one foot line here. Let's get the two monster backs back in there. Damari comes out for the pass. I mean for the good. All right, here we go. Looks like we have a timeout maybe called here. End of the third. Up oh, end of the third quarter. So we're gonna move this thing. I tell you, with the Rockets threatening here, it is at end of the third quarter. It's Reading 14, Woburn 14. Stop that in 20 minutes. All right, here we go. Second and goal here for the Rockets. Back to the two big backs flanking Damari. 34 and 44. About a foot to go. They're trying to stack up the box right here. This one goes right up the gut to Fleming. And he, uh, this time, I mean, sorry to, to Thornton, he doesn't get there. So big job. Not only does he get pushed back, he gets pushed back about a yard. So let me third and... Uh, Pushed it back, they said forward momentum, so it's going to be third and about two here. Third and goal to get in. So good, hey, credit Woburn, the very, very first time I've seen them stacking up, but they got eight guys in the box, too. Here's, here's the first time we're going to see Nick Perez in here. Perez comes in at quarterback in the goal line. Mm. He's got Thornton flanking him. This one comes back, he's gonna look to pass. He throws across the middle, it gets batted down. Oh, he had Tice open over the middle, but credit Woburn, they batted down here. So nicely run uh, route by Tice, he was open. And the Woburn line, number 85, tall guy, put his hand up and knocked that pass down. So it's fourth and goal right here. This is it for the Rocket for some points. Parents imploring them to give a push here. Damari comes back in with the play. We got Damari and Thornton in the backfield. Oh, we've seen this play. This one could be in motion here. And this one's going to come to Thornton. It's a, it's a reverse, and Trevor Th uh, Conroy gets stacked up, and they don't make it. 
So the reverse does not work. They get pushed back, and the Rockets are going to turn the ball over here. So they might, they eat up a ton of real estate. Big runs up the middle. Get down to the um, inside and try a pass play that's un is unsuccessful. In reverse, it's unsuccessful. So the Rockets are going to turn the ball over here. It's going to be deep in Woburn territory. But nonetheless, now we get to ask the defense to stand up again. Go oh, first and 10 from inside the 10-yard line. I formation. It's a handoff up the middle. Right there is right beautiful play on the left side. Oki rips him down low, and, and in comes, um, um, sorry, Flanagan high. So nice job, Oak hangs on on that one. Good job by 55. Flanny comes over to take him down. So no gain on the play, nice job. Second, and actually maybe even a, a loss of a uh, yard there. All right, here we go. Maybe Oki learned his lesson. You gotta hold on and not let go. Second and just over 10 here. They're talking to each other, they're supposed to be switching positions here. In motion right here. Pulls it in, up. Oh, we got movement. I think it's movement. I think they ran out of time on the clock. So they moved it, they're gonna move it back five yards here. They had to hurry up. The guys weren't in the right formation. We had to jump on the left side of the line. It's going to be third. I mean, call it second. Uh, I think it's second and 15. I don't know if it was third down yet. So second and 15 here, pushing them back inside the five. Rockets would love to get a big push here. See if we can get Larry and Domi in the middle of that lineup, pushing these guys back. A couple of big guys on that line for Woburn, though, too. All right, here we go, second and 15 inside, just about the five yard line. And we got a whistle here, it might be a timeout. Timeout Woburn, so they're gonna reconsider what that play is and we'll come back in a sec. And long here, Woburn goes back. See if they can pull a rabbit out of the hat deep in their own zone. We need it, like to see a push from this front line. In motion, it's a handoff right, it's a keeper. Oh, he takes it left, he's still on his feet. So nice misdirection there, but they get stacked up after a gain of about five. It's gonna be third and 10 here. This is a absolutely huge third down for Redding. There's no possible way they can, they're gonna go for a fourth here. So big down right here for the defense, third and 10. All right, here we go, big third down here. Six, 635 left in the fourth here. Might see them look to pass here. He hands it right up the gut and he gets met by Deemer and he goes nowhere. Deemer comes in and then some, uh, helped out by Conroy. Nice job by Adam Deemer, and it's fourth and seven here, and this one is very tricky. I mean, they're going to have to kick this one away. Either way, any way you slice it, it looks like there's going to be excellent field position for the Rockets, but look, you know what? It looks like he's going in for a play. We'll see. This is very, very risky. Fourth and seven, and they are going to call a play here from inside their own 10-yard line. 15 yard line, call it. All right, you may see him kick here. It looks like he is set up, set up to kick. We'll see if he hold, holds it back and kicks it. It is a pooch punt and he boots it. Stay away from it and they're gonna go out of bounds. So Rockets are gonna take over with tremendous field position about the 35 yard line. So let's see if the Rockets, I'll tell you, the, the, the Rockets have been a little bit of their own worst enemy here today because they have dominated on offense. But i tell you, when they needed them the last few times, the defense has come up big. Nice plays on that last drive by Oki, Deemer. Um, Kyle Flanagan. So huge play, and it goes out of bounds. It's probably about the 30-yard line right here. Damari right now over to Fleming, 44. He's got all sorts of daylight on him. And oh, he, oh, he's still on his feet. He fights for a few more, so he looks like he's got to go out of bounds. He drives it up, and he gets seven. So nice run by Fleming on first down. Gets it inside, the let's say, the 25-yard line. Rockets break the huddle quickly. I like it. 
Damari flanked by the big backs. This one's going to Thornton up the gut. What a hole. Oh, still on his feet, and we drive him forward. That's going to be a first down. Oki in there and Sean Beckett, he's pushing him forward at the end. He already had the first. Why not get a couple more? So nice job right there by the Rockets. First down, call it just outside the 15-yard line. I know Woburn only has a single timeout left. This one's going to be right up the gut to Thornton. What a hole on the right-hand side. Oh, he drives that for at least five. Coach Murphy imploring the Rockets. They get five yards, and he wanted ten. Doesn't want anyone standing around. You've got to finish your blocks out there. So second and about four here. Right up the gut to this one's to Thornton, and he is going to go in. Oh, man, Thornton drives it in for his second touchdown of the day. Huge run. That's the answer you needed right there. So the defense comes up huge, pinning them back, and the Rockets escape. They can't quite get it in on the last series, but they make no mistake about it. And what do they do it with? Run, run, run up the gut with the big backs. So the Rockets go up six here, and let's see if they can make it eight. That's trying to stack eight in the box right here because they think they're coming right at him with a run. And they do with Fleming, and Fleming just takes it in. Oh, absolutely runs over number two at the end in the backfield. And it's Thornton and Fleming show right here. Takes it up there. So beautiful series right there with a very short field for the Rockets. And the Rockets go up 22 to 14. All right, here we go. Rockets set to kick off. 3.48 left in the game. Wubin's got one timeout left. Redding's got three. That's what we heard on the sidelines here. One goes to Foxy. It's fielded cleanly by number 15. He's got a seam. Oh, boy. He's got one guy to beat, and I think it's right up the middle. That's 44 Fleming. So he fields it cleanly, takes it right up the gut. If he hit a seam, he was off and running. But they're going to have excellent field position here with three minutes to go. Rocket D's going to have to step up again, which they have in the second half. Wubin switching out to their football here. First and 10 from over midfield. This one's going to be a keeper up the middle. He's got a seam over there. Good little hole. Light, light, nice job by Flanagan to come over. And then Dom DiCrescenzo comes in and hits him. So nice job there. Strung out. He had a nice misdirection play. Looked like he had a little bit of room. But Flanagan came in and closed. And Domi comes out and helps out. So ends up being a gain of about four. Looked a little bit less than that. Good spot. Let's go. Caught a gain of five here. S second and five. I believe that one stays in bounds too, so the clock has to be ticking here. This one's going to be a keeper right there. Flanagan's in, throws it underneath, and he gets wrapped up immediately. Nice job. Close to the first down, but nice job coming in there for uh, DiCrescenzo and Ferrante. But Flanagan came in on a corner blitz, is right in his face, so. But it's going to be a first down. <laughs> Thought I might have heard 220 on the clock. They're going to stop it at 2. In motion here. He's got a handoff. He's going to keep it himself. Kind of look to throw. He's over the middle. Oh, DiNapoli's right there. And so is uh, back there is Perez. So good look and throw. L led him a little bit. But once again, very good coverage. That's one of the hardest things to teach here, Brian, especially you don't throw the ball a lot in Papuana. This is the first time a lot of these guys may have seen it. And you're seeing you know, one guy who, had, who hasn't played since he's been an E in Papuana out there in coverage is DiNapoli. Perez did a nice job there too. But the clock does stop here with the pass. It's first and ten. Probably just over two minutes here. Like a passing situation here. He keeps it up the middle. He's got some big room here. Good block right there on Fleming, but in comes Ferrante. It's a nice job by Ferrante. He gets a gain of about maybe five or six, but he stops him inbounds. 
that's a huge play. He's got to know to get out of bounds here to stop his clock. So it's third and short here, clear four down territory this late in the game. But this clock should be running before the two minute warning. And I think that's it. Two minute warning, that's exactly what it is. They wanted to get another one off, but you know what? Credit Flanagan on that tackle right there because he kept him in bounds and they ran it down. They don't get an extra stop on the clock. So two minutes to go, third and two, clear four down territory here. It's gonna be a big ask of the Rocket D here. Like to see a little dose of their own medicine here. Let's get a turnover. Oh, right in there was Kajander and he gets in there nicely on the right hand side is Oki. So Jay Kajander and trips him up and Oki's right there to clean up. 52 D Crescenzo in there too. So very short gain and the clock's gotta be running here. One, five, three and counting, we heard on the field. They gotta move this thing out, it's a first down. They only needed about a yard, but the clock is running right here. I think there's only a single timeout for Woburn left. You got someone in motion, handoff right up the gut, number three, he cuts out, he gets wrapped up by Kajander and then gets stacked up. Larry's in there too. Nice job by Jay. And uh, Trev Conroy in there as well. So there's going to be a final timeout here for Woburn. That's a pushback there. So they may push that back a yard or two. It's going to be second and 11. No timeouts left for Woburn. They're going to have to throw a couple of plays in here. Look for some passes too so they can stop that clock. Second and 10 here. I don't think there's any timeouts left. And we're going to get about a minute and a half here on the clock. Quarterback going under the, the guard. It's going to be a pitch out here. It's going to be a th throw and a pass. Oh, it's, it's a terrible pass. It's a duck out there, and it goes to nowhere. So went off the wrong side of his hand. He flutters out there, but big pursuit by 52, De Crescenzo. He wanted to get rid of that before he, big Dom got in there. Call it third and 10 right now. Clock stops. You might see a couple more passes here, Brian. I don't know. If they, if they pass them like that, they could be in trouble. <laughs> Shotgun here, he's gonna look back to pass here. He rolls out right. Oak, he's on pursuit there, he throws it out. It's gonna be out over, overthrown. So nice pursuit by Oak. Much better angle on that one. Lynchy over there as well. So they force him out and he throws it out. And it's fourth down. This is the ball game here, Brian. Fourth down here, they need 10 to keep this thing going. They need about 22 for a touchdown. They need the touchdown and two. So this is a huge play right here for the Rockets. Love it, got the whole Rocket sideline over there, pumping them up. Big play right here, fourth and 10. It's gonna be a, gonna be a keeper here, he's gonna look to throw a pass out across, he's across the middle, he's open. Oh, and it's knocked down last minute right there. Who came across was Perez. So he had a guy open down the middle, good looking play, and Nick Perez comes in and knocks it down. I think that's gonna be ball game right there. I think all the Rockets have to do is kneel on it here. Woburn, no more timeouts. And that could be it. We'll find out what's left. If we see Damari come out here and kneel, we'll know uh, the game is over. I hear him saying he's gonna take a knee. I think at this stage, they tell him they're gonna take a knee so they don't get anyone hurt here. That's what they did before the half. And so I don't think they're gonna put a big push on him here. He's gonna take a knee and there's no rush at this level. They don't want anyone getting hurt inordinately and down goes Damari with the knee and that's gonna be the ball game here. One more they're gonna do and the Rockets are gonna come out of this one with a 22 to 14 victory to go to five and O'Brien. And this it was, was a, a good game. win for the 16-man roster they put out there today. This, th this was a game that was clearly in their favor. They had a couple of mistakes that cost them big time, a couple of fumbles. 
And nonetheless, they come out on top. The ground game was immense today. Fleming and Thornton in particular. Bull number one and bull number two. And credit the defense for stepping up when they need to. The, the, the Woburn offense moved through them pretty cleanly in the first, uh, first half here. But here we are again. I think next week we're in Arlington, Brian, as it stands right now on a beautiful Thursday afternoon. Redding is 5-0, and, oh, and they win today 22-14. We'll see you next week.